This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS application. Hello everyone and welcome to the new video of Educate WordPress. On this channel, we talk everything about WordPress. And on today's video, we will discuss how you can enable web push notification on your online site, WordPress site, very easily using web pusher notification. So you will be able to show this type of notification to the users that subscribe to your notification by using this and it is very easy to set up let's see how we can do it first we'll go to our dashboard and in our plugins we'll go to add new and we have to search for web push now this one web pusher will come up just click on install now and now click on activate so you do not have to purchase any of its plan to do this and the registration is also very easy so this is the type of notification the user will get would you like to receive notification on later subject just the user have to click on yes and then on this dialog box you have to click allow so after that the user will get the notification automatically so here is the api key so if you do not have the account you have to create an account on web pusher console so here let's let me show you how you can create an account very easily you just have to type in the name and the email address that you are going to use and password and click on this checkbox and click on register now that you have created your account you just have to log in and you will get your own api key once you set up so here i'll provide my site name and my site url now on your dashboard here integration this is manual integration so if you want to go by code you have to include it this is your key so you just have to copy it and paste it here This key will be seen here also in WordPress plugin under integration. So these two keys have same numbers. So now your web pusher is active. You do not have to do anything with this setting. You can leave it to default or if you want to choose a placeholder for the image or the icon you can choose the icon or the image by clicking on here you will have to upload it here is abandoned card view product these are all the settings that you can apply you can choose a placeholder for all of this 
now to send a push notification to your user what you have to do let me go to my store first so that i will also receive the notification now here is the bell icon i can always unsubscribe now if i go to my web pusher web console here in push notification i will see an option called manual push so here i have to create a campaign to push a notification i can push a notification via api also you will see the documentation also if you do not know how to do it so let's go with manual push let's create a campaign you have to give it a name so let's name it test and here it will ask you the audience so you can even see the audience count so it's showing me zero active users so let me go and paste it in another browser so now here on all users i'll select it and i can see the all user count to be one and test user count also which is zero the next thing is content you will see how it will look to the user so let's give it a title you can add action buttons also to redirect it to a given text a given link so this is a link to my website so i am giving it here and now in settings in content you can even include the icon and the image also if you want next is settings so here you can auto hide the notification you can enable it or disable it so let's disable it for now so if you disable it the user have to click the cross cross mark to remove this notification this is expiry push automatically next is delivery so you can either schedule it at a certain time or a certain day or you can do it on instant if you want to do it instantly so let's send it now and see if our notification is sent or not so here on the dashboard you will see a notification received so it will show up here and if i click the link my blog is opened and here on notification i can even see the recent notification so this is how simply you can send the notification to your users they can even see the recent notification on this subscribe option this is a link that is shown and here you will see all the campaign details total attempt total delivery notification click notification close all of the details in real time you will be able to see here on logs also you can see the subscribers so here this only one subscriber you can see the list of subscribers if you have many you can see the funnel and here on dashboard you will be able to see the user detail interaction impression ctrs opt in rate total lifetime users and on users also you will be able to see the details of the users like if i click on this the subscriber id browser name my operating system device my ip address everything will be shown this is a segment 
I can even create new segments also. So this is how you can send push notification by using web pusher on your WordPress website. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to Educate WordPress.